Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. So the Yappening 2 operation has begun and today we're going to be talking about what exactly this operation offers as well as my thoughts on this operation. So let's jump right into it. So with every operation, this comes with a 20 tier free battle pass and in this pass we have a bunch of grunt related cosmetics which I think is a massive upgrade from the first Yappening event because the first Yappening event did not really have anything grunt related. So I think it's a pretty massive step up. However, However, just as usual i think at least like half of the items are only good in this pass because the first half is pretty much just emblems and whatnot but the second part of this operation is where it gets really good because you actually get yourself essentially a grunt mule like armor set which i think is pretty awesome but moving on to the next thing this operation offers is a event playlist that is actually themed after the event i definitely love that kind of stuff and that is none other than the grunt apocalypse mode this is a perfect way to introduce this variant of firefight alongside this grunt themed event um so i'm glad they actually did that i think that's pretty awesome now the mode itself isn't exactly new as we've seen it in previous halo games but this one does have a few differences that make it a bit more unique and that is the fact that there is a fiesta version where you can actually spawn with random weapons every time you get revived or die on the battlefield and not only that but because there's actually some grunt bosses in this game you are gonna encounter a lot of grunt bosses sometimes not even in the boss waves they just spawn naturally as like normal grunts which i think is pretty cool and can be quite deadly because i know the one with the disruptor <laughs> absolutely shred another little tweak they made is whether you die or not the skulls will still apply so no matter what you're gonna get up to like four or five skulls whether you die or not which makes this game mode incredibly more chaotic which i actually do really enjoy and more difficult so it kind of changes it up a bit from previous iteration and of course having it be king of the hill but other than that yeah it's about pretty much what you can expect just shooting a bunch of grunts and dying to plasma Plasmas. it gets pretty chaotic and i've been enjoying it so far now i do think it is kind of weird how they have three separate playlists for this i think they should have just went with one dedicated playlist for it i understand if people want to choose difficulties but i feel like that's just way too many options i think they should have just stuck to one difficulty especially for people who want to play the original firefight because you can't do that because this grunt apocalypse playlist is going to last two weeks until they return the original firefight mode into matchmaking so i think it's i think they gave a bit too many options but um i don't know maybe players would appreciate that personally i think they should have just stuck to one playlist now later on in this event we're also going to get a new dev made forge map called corrosion which i talked about in my previous video it was a map that was leaked quite a while ago but i brought it up because it seemed like that was the next thing that was going to happen and it seems like i was right however this is not currently in the game right now you can't even play it in customs if you wanted to but it is going to appear in matchmaking on the last week of this operation as a 24 7 playlist now personally i don't really mind this i actually kind of like this idea i think it would actually be really cool if they did this with operations from here on out i think it would be cool if the first week they offer one experience and then the second week they offer another experience and then the third week they offer another experience although this one's got a gap in it because the second week it's still going to be grand apocalypse i think it just adds more variety to the whole operation and makes it feel more alive so that way each week you're like returning to something in fact i think for the second week they should have done like a maybe like a grunt apocalypse lasso challenge or something i don't know like i kind of see what they're doing here i don't I don't know if it's because maybe they just wanted to delay the forge map for other reasons or whatever but if they're going for what i think they're going for where they're gonna like try to have a new experience every week during the operations i think that would be pretty cool but yeah this corrosion map is gonna be like some kind of facility or refinery i think is what the description says that has vats of acid that you can walk into and i think slowly slowly damages you over time if you step into it so i'm definitely looking forward to hopping back in once this releases Overall, I think it's a pretty good event. Um, it's not anything crazy, but I, I'm pretty satisfied with it. Now let's talk about something else that this event has to offer, and that is none other than the shop, because we definitely got to talk about that. And let me first off say that I think all the store items are pretty cool. Once again, I really like seeing like the grunt stuff or like the banished armor. I think it's really cool. All the weapon models and stuff like that is awesome. But as usual, it is overpriced as heck. I mean, look at this freaking bundle right here, Dark and Trove literally has one chess piece attachment that by the way is not even cross core and then it comes with another coating just called darkened trove for ten dollars otherwise known as a thousand credits i mean it's even more funny when they got a bundle right next to it called blackstone lichen which is essentially the same thing except it's got two coatings and it costs a thousand four hundred now to be fair this stuff is cross core the weapon coating and armor coating but yeah man that's that's some crazy prices for just two coatings and just look at the conqueror 
bundle, which is the helmet I actually really wanted to buy, but you know, I kind of expected it to be priced as high anyways, so I'm definitely not going to buy it, but this one does cost 2400 Now, it does include a good amount of armor pieces, and it does have the cool weapon model, but man, I don't know, man. It's, the pricing gets crazy on some of these bundles. $24 just for that. We also got the KB bundle here, which is that grunt armor, which is awesome. It comes with a grunt-like coating, which I think is really cool, and of course, all the cool grunt pieces. But yeah, this is going for 18 which, man, I mean, that's pretty steep. So yeah, I mean, other than that, I definitely don't agree with the shop. I don't think I ever really agreed with the shop. The only times I bought stuff from the shop is when I see things that are, I think, pretty fair. Other than the Season 4 weapon bundles that I bought, which was when Halo Infinite first got its, like, awesome new weapon models, you know, I was excited for that. So I bought those because I did make a video showcasing it. So really, the best thing you can do is just not buy anything. But sadly, you know, people are just buying all this stuff up. So I don't think it's really ever going to change. It's even more crazy considering that now, out of all times, is when they consider to up the price is when the content we're getting doesn't really justify these prices it's just i don't know i think it's hilarious you know at least with seasons we got a good amount of stuff so i don't know i just think it's pretty funny but i mean at this point i just don't really care you know obviously I, I don't support it because i don't buy anything so i'd rather just have them focus on the next game um yeah it would be nice if they lower the prices but i just don't see it happening because truth is people just buy it so i will say though i think it's awesome seeing all these kind of armor pieces and them actually putting some effort into the cosmetics so it is nice seeing that so other than that tell me what you guys think about this whole operation the shop the content that we're getting with the operation i'll see you guys on the next one peace